Well, Renegades has done it. They have accomplished the dream. They have won a game. Yes. Uh, two. We've won two games. Yeah, yeah. Two. But I mean, we've won yeah, another we, one we now. We broke after. the losing streak. Was it was like a month-long losing streak, right? Was it? Yeah. Honestly, it felt like eternity. It, yeah. It's feel. It's felt like eternity. Because you won. What? Who did you? Who's the we only other team? Team Liquid when they didn't. When they had dominate. Oh, okay. First game of this. First, our first game. Oh yeah. Oh, that was legit though. That was a legit. Yeah, I, for was, some reason, in my mind. Yeah, it was. It was a fine win. I mean, yeah. but it was a little sloppy towards yeah. the end, but it was a fine win. And then you just got very overconfident after that first game, and that was what led to the, the last month or so. Well. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just been a continuous, you know, each loss just pummeling you down yeah. deeper and deeper into the hole. And I mean, even I don't look at all those social media and all that, <laughs> but the times that I had before, literally every single day is filled with hate, hate speech, murder, like all sorts of hideous things that I could, I wouldn't even think of how vile this is. Yeah. So I think the team kind of gets a little down on yeah. that and this is finally some even though it was really sloppy it's a boost in morale yeah you never really see the comment that's like oh i feel like crumbs played a little subpar yeah. today but hopefully he'll get it tomorrow yeah. right it's normally it's like something... why, you know how did they let him gargle yeah. while on stage like yeah. that makes no sense exactly i mean and and that's just not the analysis or commentary i think that you can really work on you know yeah. so all right well anyway we should talk Again, we could continuing the discussion of Weldon Week here yeah. at the LCS. Uh, you you guys didn't have Weldon this week, but previous week, right? Yes, we I think everybody felt as though, coincidentally or not, you started to look much better at that point in time. Uh, has he been helpful for you guys? Yeah, he's been a, a huge help, a huge boost in how we approach the game and our teammates, just in the mindset as opposed to the actual strategy of it, of course. and. For now, for us this week, it's ba it's been a matter of keeping the information that he's taught us and being able to enforce it every single time. And it's difficult, you know. We can slip up on it and forget to do sort sorts of things, but it, it works a lot. Like, it, it's very effective, and it, it's it's a matter of how much willpower does each team and player have to to continue doing that when there's nobody right behind them telling them, no, do this, do this, do this. I wanna, we might we might have to edit this. We'll see how quickly I can get to the tweet. But there was an, an interesting moment in that game where you guys went up against um, a boss. I think it's called a Rift Herald, I believe yeah. is what it's called. Um, and then you both died yeah. uh, to it. Yeah. Uh, all right, hang on. Get, get well, we in, saw Dig get executed, and we right. think, like two of them got executed. So we thought, well, you know, we got to match this somehow. We can't die to the turret at this point, so we have to die to something to keep the game even. You know, got to keep the fans interesting. We were asked to put on a good show, so there it is. Yeah. I mean, it was it was um, a show, uh, but you'll see here that Monty at that point in time put dot dot dot, and then he wrote, "We'll have to bleep this." What the actual? F that was his response to that. Uh, I mean, do you do you feel like that's a fair tweet? Uh, well, <laughs> whew. Yeah. I'm gonna hear I'm gonna hear this one later. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it, it is a fair tweet. It was a, it was a very sloppy mistake on our end, absolutely, but. I think that the entire game, like, to be honest, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, is that really just for the Herald or for the entirety of the game? Because I feel like maybe maybe he just he should extend that from just that moment to, to the whole instance. But I'm sure he's at least somewhat relieved that there is one more victory, one more yeah. notch in that jail. Great. And, and what a very interesting ending it was. Yeah. You guys holding back dig as Seraph runs up and uh, yeah. kind of pings over the Nexus. Uh, what was the, the reaction, what those final moments whenever you guys are defending and, and preventing them from, from backing? Oh, we were super calm during that whole time because we knew that's, that's what we were going to go for. So after, yeah. when we try to end, which we misplayed, we wanted to dive the Kog'Maw because he had no flash. Yeah. And then we didn't do it, and then we ended up losing a couple members. But then we had enough wars, so we were thinking, okay, they're going to go and leave the base so we have enough vision of backdoor. So it was similar to the previous instance where we got kind of aced at their base, and then I stayed behind, tried to threaten the back door, and it stopped them from pushing. So at that moment, you know, we're, we're thinking, all right, so clearly they they feel vulnerable and don't know how to react very well to the back door threat, so let's see if we can back door them again. And they committed again, and we're like, all right, we can back door it on this one, no, completely open base, and it worked. Well, it did, you know, I, I do want to ask you about, it, it's been interesting because I think so many people have been, there, there's a lot of hype around the team, now, I think a lot of disappointment with the performance so far. 
uh, you know, a lot of people pointing fingers, but you're right in that I think the community and, and certain people have uh, pointed to you as being one of the, the major weaknesses on the team. Do you feel like that's a fair fe feeling or fail, fair sentiment from people, or do you think that maybe it's a little too, too pointed towards you? Mm, well, I don't really mind if, if that's the case. I, I, I would like to just have the opportunity to have somebody else come into the team, like a different jungler, and have that dynamic work. Yeah. And that way I would know. Because even at this point, it, it's very hard for me to judge and be fair to my, or just accurate with myself and understanding if, if I'm really the, the source of, this, of the problem. So it would be nice for me to see somebody else take that role and see, okay, how does the team work at this point? Right. And, you know, if the team works really much better than at that point, I can say, yeah, you know what, it's like I'm being the problem here. What do I need to be changing in myself to, to improve? But that, that hasn't happened. And when we have tried different junglers every once in a while, it, it, I, I can't really feel that way. I think that I'm not necessarily the problem, but I'm not the one that's helping right. enough. Like I should be doing more. I'm not the issue, but I'm I'm not the help either. Correct. So it's, it sounds almost like there's so many different issues well, on the team that like no, 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 like it's always the same thing. There's so many issues with the team. Yeah. You know, the comms, the picks, the struct. It's oh, no, all that doesn't really matter because every team has. You can have a plethora of issues, a long ass list. But ultimately, I think what we just need to work on is on on communicating. Yeah. Like honestly, I don't. I don't think the mechanics at this point matter too much. I don't think the 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 compositions even matter that much anymore. It's just a matter of making sure that you know what your teammates are thinking and that they know what you're thinking. And you don't have to telepathically know. You can say it. Yeah. So getting getting to that point is really what we want. And I think that that's what Weldon has helped us with the most. And even though with with Seraph have, having coming this week, he's been very smart he's not the most outspoken player but what he says is often a very smart decision for us to consider or act upon it and, and that helps us a lot you know it, it i guess it inspires the the other teammates to maybe not just to think for themselves but to actually evaluate how did he get to this thought process okay how can we think of this the next time this is more of a coaching and management question, possibly, but you might have insight into this. I, I know that so many people have borrowed Seraph this split, and he yeah. uh, has a pretty good record in the LCS, despite the fact that he's, he's played for a couple different teams now. Uh, I mean, seems to have worked well this weekend, yeah. but there's a weird thing. I believe it's March 1st where you can no longer use players from, like, like the right. roster's kind of lock. Yes. Uh, so is there a chance that we can see Seraph returning? Are those discussions happening? Are you trying to figure something else out? I mean, it's, it's kind of scary, I'm sure, to be playing with a player that you might not be able to continue to use, like, next weekend or weekend after well, next. Well, I, I don't know for a fact at this point because, you know, we have had three top laners, basically. We've had RF, Flares, and Seraph, and right. we've basically been practicing with all three. So that ultimately would be the coach's decision and the, and the management just because they're the ones that orchestrated all of it in the first place. At this point, the player is most of it just, you would just sit and say, this is what you're going to going to be doing and then we do it right. or this is who your new teammates going to be so we don't really have a big say in it but I I'm just happy with whichever of the three is the better player I'm yeah I'm all for it is there anything that you would like to say to any of the Renegades fans out there who are <clears throat> you know happy that you guys won well you know it really brightens my day when I come here and all the fans are always so happy they're always so positive and so then like you know you guys keep doing your thing keep going keep going and it's it's really nice you know it, it it's a contrast from what you know I get home and I'm thinking to myself hey you know what I, I, I want to make a, a video about this topic that I think is very interesting and then you put that out there it's like you fucking piece of shit. look at your record you don't know shit. you go die go play Han or some shit. like you know being here in the LCS is a lot better, and I just wish that people were, were like that. You know, just try, just be more objective about yeah. things. And for the people that are here, like particularly the guys here, you know, it means I think it means the world for for not just me, but for my team as well. Just just how kind they've been. Well, anyway, thank you so much for the interview, Crumbs. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this these interviews. I haven't done one for a while, and uh, right, so every two wins, all right. Yeah. Every two wins, so. Let's see. So maybe next split. Yeah. All right. Anyway, well, thank you so much. Hey, uh, don't be don't be so uh, positive about that. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Just kidding. Okay. All right. We'll <laughs> Just see. Just kidding. No. Thank you so much, Crumbs, for the interview. For everyone else, this is Yahoo Esports.